Today's video, we're going to look at how to adhere thick film from Murakami screen. These screens are used in a variety of print techniques, uh, from electronic printing, uh, for circuitry, uh, to high density, where you can print in one pass. You can stack multiple passes for some of these prints you're seeing here. Uh, gains more detail and smoothness. And uh, puff inks tend to lay down far better, loft better, and gels have good sharp edges and doming quality. The basic setup for this uh, technique is to use Murakami thick film, one pot sole C emulsion, and this screen is a 90S smart mesh screen. I'm going to peel the printed plastic protective sheet first. This is the side we're going to adhere to. Notice the white buildup board. The only thing that will touch the film is the mesh. This really improves uh, the next technique you're going to see. Um, with the build-up board, the mesh is the only thing that touches it, and uh, the frame is up off the table. I'm going to start putting two-inch tape around the film, and we want this to be right up against the film. You'll notice here that there's a gap forming on the first attempt. I want to get that over there and fix it so it's right up against the uh, film. This way no drips form when we uh, go to the adhering process coming up. So I'm going to run two inch tape all the way around here. Notice I'm overlapping it. It makes it easier to peel off if you overlap the corners. Um, we'll put two pieces on all sides to accommodate the squeegee width. Just make it easier for the cleaner. We want to hear this with Murakami one pot sole C emulsion. It has the speed and sensitivity to match the film and it's a better emulsion to adhere with. I'm going to use my left hand to hold it down and with four to six clean passes push the emulsion into the film so that it melts it and adheres it. If you put down just the right amount you can peel this off in one piece or you can scoop off the excess emulsion and then peel it. You need to dry this side first. If we coat now, it will take hours, if not a day, to dry completely. So we'll dry it, and it's dry when this plastic peels off very easily. I'm going to coat the inside now with one pot sole C to match our adhering emulsion. I'm using the sharp side on this S mesh so that I don't overcoat and put too much emulsion down. Two coats with a sharp edge is plenty. Once we're done here, we're going to put it back in the dryer again. And we're going to dry two to three hours at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, or overnight is safer if you do not have a commercial dryer. Thick film is available from 100 microns up to 1,000, with 400 microns being one of the most common used for textiles. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.